Hi there. Now, here I've got an example which you might like to try on finding the equations of tangents and normals to a particular curve, y equals x cubed, at the point where x equals 2. And I'm assuming that you have seen my previous tutorial on how we go about this. So this is just, as I say, an example for you to just revise that work. So if you'd like to have a go at this, I'll just give you a moment to uh, pause the video. And when you come back, you can check your working against mine. OK, welcome back then if you had a go. Now, what I'm going to do is just sketch the graph y of y equals x cubed. Not that you have to, but uh, if you've got a curve that uh, generally you should be familiar with, or it's easy to draw, I would encourage you to draw it because it gives you an opportunity of just checking to see whether your answer looks reasonable. Now y equals x cubed is a familiar curve, or it should be. It's one that looks like this. It goes through the origin and then goes up like that. Okay, So this is y equals x cubed. And we've got to work out the tangent and normal then to this point where x equals 2. And the point where x equals 2 is going to be some point on the curve somewhere like that. Okay, So we'll just put the x coordinate down here first of all, 2 something or other. We need to work out the y coordinate. We'll do that in a moment. And when it comes to looking at the tangent, the tangent is going to be a line then looking something like this. And the normal will be a line looking, say, something like this. OK, just missed that point a, a little, but uh, hopefully you get the idea. So let's work out what y will be, first of all, when x equals 2. I'll just put this down, although it's so easy, I know, to do in your head. But when x equals 2, y would equal 2 cubed. And that is 8. So therefore, the point that we're looking at has coordinates 2, 8. Now we need to get the gradient at any point on the curve. And we do that by differentiating our equation of the curve. So we have at the moment y equals x cubed. And it means that therefore, if we differentiate y with respect to x, we get dy by dx equals 3x squared. So this gives us the gradient of the tangent at any point on the curve. But we're looking at this particular point when x is 2. So if we just put when x equals 2 in here, we get that therefore dy by dx comes out to be equal to 3 times 2 squared. 2 squared is 4. 3 times 4 gives us a gradient then of 12. So we'd expect a positive gradient, and we've got a positive gradient. And that's what helps when you've got the sketch here, just to check that these things look reasonable. So now we've got the gradient then of the tangent. We can get the gradient of the normal, because it's directly related to the gradient of the tangent. I'll just, first of all, though, write in that the, therefore, the gradient of tangent, OK? We, we can see that that is equal to 12. Now, the gradient of the normal, we'll just say and normal. Remember, that's got to be the negative reciprocal of this. We just negate this, that's minus 12, and then invert it. So the gradient of the normal is going to be minus 1 12. So therefore, when a position now to get the equation of the tangent. The equation of the tangent, we'll just write a subtitle here, OK, at, and we'll give the coordinates to the point 2, 8, we'll say is. And the form that we're going to use, OK, let's just write this down here. Being a straight line, it's going to have the form y minus y1 equals m multiplied by x minus x1 x1, y1 are the points here, 2, 8, respectively. And m is the gradient, which we've got for the tangent is 12. 
So therefore, we have that the equation is going to be y minus y1, which is 8, equals the gradient of the tangent, which is 12, multiplied by x minus x1, which is 2. And I could leave it like this if it said find an equation for the tangent. That's quite acceptable. But if it asks us to put it in, say, the form y equals mx plus c, I would carry on, expand the bracket, and we would get 12x minus 24. And then I would add 8 to both sides, giving me y equals 12x. And minus 24 plus 8 is minus 16. And when it's in this form, again, you can just check out to see whether it looks reasonable. It's going to cross the y-axis at minus 16, a negative number. So clearly it does here. Right, let's go on to work out the equation of the normal. Again, we'll have a subtitle here, equation of normal. Always helps to have the subtitles, otherwise very difficult for the person marking it to read what you're doing. So the equation of the normal is, and we've got y minus y1 again. y1 is 8 equals the gradient. Now the gradient, remember, for the normal is minus 1 twelfth. So we've got minus 1 twelfth multiplied by x minus x1. x1 is 2. Okay. Now if we want to put this one in the form y equals mx plus c, then I'm just going to expand the bracket and add 8 to both sides. So if we do that, we end up with y equals minus 1 twelfth x, and then you've got plus 2 twelfths, or 1 sixth, add it to the 8, and you've got 8 and 1 sixth, or as a top heavy fraction, that's 49 sixths. So that's in the form y equals mx plus c. And you can see that it's a negative gradient, as you'd expect, and it crosses at 8 and 1 sixth on the positive section of the y-axis anyway. Clearly it's not drawn to scale because this is minus 16 and this now is 8 and 1 sixth, but hopefully it still gives you an idea. Okay, well I hope you were able to get that correct and if not, that you've been able to see where you've gone wrong. And if you do want further guidance on this, do go back to my earlier tutorial anyway on finding equations of tangents and normals then to curves.